Hello, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here with my daily video. Okay, like, I'm gonna be quiet for a second. Do you hear the cicadas? I left the door open to my deck from the studio. So if you hear this sort of resonating hum, hmm, that's the cicadas. <laughs> and I have to tell you, I took a walk before lunch today and had to, they're like, they're swarming everywhere right now. They're flying, lots of them are flying. So they landed on my legs, they landed in my hair, they landed on my arm, and I was like, ugh. So I'm going to have to uh, walk a little earlier because earlier in the morning, they're not as active and they're not flying around. So I'm gonna have to shift my walk a little bit. Alrighty. <laughs> So the on the on our um, blah 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 on our calendar, I had to. One of the days was to celebrate our brothers, which I didn't do on that day. So today we're going to celebrate quilts you made for your brother, for an uncle, for your dad, for one of those men in your life, your nephews, uh, you know, your kid, your your son, your husband. <laughs> what quilt did you make for a guy in your life? So I've showed you my uh, traffic jam before, but here it is again. And this was sent to my brother. He is a huge Grateful Dead fan. And so um, the spa, Cindy and Dennis found a Grateful Dead quilting pattern. So it was all over patterned with uh, images, some images from the Grateful Dead. Uh, and he loves it. It was so great. So great. I had to make, it was a special order to make extra big because he's a tall guy, he's a big guy. And he was like, I need a bigger quilt. The other ones don't wrap up. So that's his. <laughs> so share them over at my Facebook group called Along with Pat Sloan or at my last blog post, uh, either where you, you know, wherever you want to share it, whatever. We just can't share them here at YouTube. They don't have that function to share a photo. So there's a couple things coming up that uh, I want to share now. I don't have dates, but I'm just going to share that they're coming. Uh, the Fat Quarter Shop, I have partnered with them to help me put a kit together to do this a little darling quilt. It's not that little, 52 by 60. It is the Woodland Wonderland quilt by my friend Joanna Figueroa. And we are going to do it in her newest fabric line, which is, uh, has like light oranges and light greens. So it's a little bit of a fall feel to it. Uh, this one was done more like a little bit of a Christmassy, like the darker red. So here is a mock-up of this done, the kit done, but you don't have to make it with the kit. You can make it with the kit, uh, it, but it's not available yet. <laughs> it worked. <sighs> it's just the way it is. Everything is taking a while. Um, the supply chains are a little, uh, it's a little slow. So the kit will be out fairly, we're hoping soon, we're hoping soon. But you can also just do the book. You need to get the book anyways. Uh, so the book is now available, well, it has been available. You can down, download, the link is below to download uh, and subscribe while you're there so we can be friends. <laughs> the book is darling. Let me tell you how we're going to, how we're going to work this. And it will be running this fall. So you have time, but you can get ready, particularly if you're going to use your own fabric and you want to, you could mimic this one these colors or if you want to wait for the kit then everything will be in it so the the book is laid out in chapters uh there's some basic stuff so you know so pretty much by chapter you'll make something like this is making the mushroom uh and then then you make you know like then you make like one of the blocks here so what i will do is follow the book order whatever that is. So like here, down here, the mushrooms, but I'm also going to do a few of these things extra. Like I might do a table runner with just the gnomes and the mushrooms and the tree, because I'm thinking like I have to measure that out and see, but I might just do a few of these. And I definitely am doing an owl and I'm definitely doing a porcupine. So I might actually make a smaller, maybe a, t a tiny wall hanging version of this with just some of those images in a block or two. Like, I love that block and I love that block. Okay, I love that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. I love them all. <laughs> but this will be so fun. We'll do a block a week 
just following the order and because you'll have the pattern uh, you, you can't get behind or anything and you could work ahead if your schedule you know is going to be that way but this is coming up in the fall but you can go ahead and get ready I will be doing a new list of projects uh, and sort of shuffling things around and hopefully maybe having some start dates that I didn't have when I put it out in May uh, and that will be with the June calendar and I'm hoping to do the June calendar um, help, hope to have it for Monday <laughs> otherwise it'll be on June 1st <laughs> so, but I'm hoping to have it on uh, May 31st uh, so you'll be able to download it Yay, fun, fun, fun. As soon as I saw this a while back when she first came out with it, when Joanna first came out with it, I just wanted to make it. And then I thought, well, let's do a kit and let's do a sew along in uh, 2021. So it is going to be fun. And speaking of fun, of course, we're always speaking of fun. Starting on Monday is my book tour for the holiday celebrations. I, we're going to start off with the publisher, Martingale, which has a grand prize. Uh, there's actually going to be two grand prizes, one which you can enter at at their website and one you can enter at at Instagram, uh, all loading up on Monday. And here are the prizes we have from just a load of my favorite people that I work with, like Aliso and Baby Lock and Schmetz Needles and the man that makes the wool mats that I love. Um, there's... Uh, Orifil thread, there's Benertex fabric, uh, there's, of course, we're going to be, have a book giveaway. <laughs> Can't miss that part. Um, just super, super fun uh, projects. Olfa has some things in there. Over at, there's a book tour page, and then I will be talking about it every day for the video. On the second day, on June 1st, my buddy Jacqueline Steves, it will be her day on the tour. And then at my website, you can see uh, on the project page, I have a page for this, which lists all the people. And each one has a book giveaway. And they will be making something from the book so that you can see it done in their fabric lines or their signature style, or they might have a tip or a trick of how they do something and show you in their post. So I am very excited about all of that. It is going to be so fun. I've been getting some sneak peeks and I will be sharing those uh, starting tomorrow. Um, over, I'll put it here, I'll show you here on the video tomorrow, some sneak peeks and over at Facebook and Instagram. So that's, those are the places that everything's happening. <laughs> Gotta have a happening. Finally, 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 all of the round is done. I just made it happen. The, I just had to get it done, which means I didn't cross stitch. I did this. It still has to go onto the background and be appliqued, but I am almost there. It will be done before the next. This is um, this is the old school uh, block of the month, so it'll be done before the next block comes out with the next designer. <laughs> Hopefully, it won't be English paper piecing again, so I can do it in that same month. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> so how did you like the picture that came up uh, for the front of this video of world peace? Here, I'll show you to you again. I put it on the front door, uh, my front door of my home, and it looks, doesn't it look spectacular on my red door? Oh my goodness. This aqua looks great on red. You know what that leads me to think is that if you want to make it a little bit bigger, you could just put a red fabric, like if you if you bought the kit, which is still 20% off today, if you bought the kit and then bought that red, um, there it is, the red pins fabric, that would be so cute. Have a little red border on the outside. I just love putting up on the door. And if you saw my, <laughs> of course I'm not showing sure the one, but my hair was this, I thought, let me just try it natural before I, you know, take the curling iron to it. It's like, ah, I looked like a mess. Oh. All right, and remember, you can also enter. I'm giving away two of those kits, and so that link is also below here in the description box. Uh, so if you go down there and get it. What else do I have? I had something else to show you. Let me look at my list. Ah, when we were talking about our sewing spaces uh, for the block yesterday, for Home Is, the last block, Da -da -da -da. Our last, our home is, there it is, all together. I've got my bottom sewn. But when we were doing the, talking about sewing spaces, I thought I'd just share with you what my sewing spaces have been over the years because 
I don't have pictures of them, but I'll just tell you because I was thinking, you know, wow, I've been uh, really deliberate and determined in no matter where I lived and the kind of place I was in to have a sewing space. I learned to sew in high school uh, in, in a home ec class and my mother saw that I was super interested so she got me a little sewing machine. It was a genie and that stayed in the dining room. I think mostly because I was making garments, that's what I was making, so I needed the dining room table to cut things, so she just kept the machine in the dining room, which uh, was fine. And as a teenager, I had homework and I had school activities, and so even though I was still sewing quite a bit, uh, I didn't have it in my bedroom. It was just down, it was down the dining room, and I sewed there uh, whenever I wanted to sew. When I went to college, I had it I have my sewing machine in my college room, but I didn't sew a lot in college, uh, a little bit maybe. My first apartment, I had the sewing machine space in my room. I share had a roommate, and so I had it in my room. And then when Greg and I had our very first apartment together, miraculously, we had a two-bedroom apartment. So guess which one went in the other bedroom? My machine. So I had my own sewing room from about the time I was 20 until now. I've always made a space, a room in the house. I've been really lucky that way. Uh, so there's always been an, uh, one of the bedrooms, whether I shared it with the guest bed, which I often did at one point, until I was like, well, no guests ever come and stay here, so we don't need a guest bedroom, and so this is mine. <laughs> until now, where this room that I'm in, I'll take you up and around, this is actually the family room of our home so that goes out to the kitchen this was built onto the house as an extension so i loved uh seeing seeing all your blocks coming together so many of you have been keeping up and the ones of you who are still finishing up a few blocks to get get them all together you were sharing your progress that is so encouraging to everybody i love it love it love it love it all right my friend don't forget if you want world peace which we all do, I know. You have you can go get this, the link below. Don't miss out. <laughs> I love you. Mwah. See you online.